It's Tuesday, November 11th, 2025. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. An update on some recent earthquakes. There's been a little bit more shaking uh, yesterday evening, kind of uh, last night, uh, if you will. There was a quake just off toward the northeast of Barbados, about five in magnitude. It was about 10 kilometers down or six miles down, so it was shallow. If you were kind of sitting there not doing a whole lot and still awake, you may have felt this. This is in the wake of two notable quakes that we had on Friday, one over toward parts of Mexico and another one in a similar spot just off toward the east of Guadalupe. So I'll keep an eye on some of the increased activity as far as some of the earthquakes go. If you're subscribed, you'll get those updates because as we go forward, things like earthquakes, uh, uh, volcanic activity, if something happens, I'll do my best to put out a quick update for you. So again, you'll get those uh, notifications, but I did want to let you know about that. Now, we're watching the flood potential right here in the Caribbean and a big big front. It is tied to that. A chill that is working all the way down through the Gulf, back through parts of Cuba and the Bahamas. I want to highlight that as well. Here's the rain that's going to continue to build. Belize, Honduras, San Andres, Providencia, back through parts of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Watching this, I am not seeing this developing into a tropical storm or anything like that. I am highly concerned about the rain in parts of Central America, which I'll highlight. Some increased rain parts of the Cayman Islands and Jamaica, but again, I'm not seeing this developing into a named storm. I know there's some chatter out there about that, so I like to be very clear about that on this channel. Now, as far as that chill goes, let me show you this for a second. Waking up to some colder weather over toward parts of Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, back through the Bahamas and Cuba. As we go throughout the day today, you can see some of the temperatures just running in the mid-60s, northern sections of the Bahamas, and then we work our way into tonight northern Bahamas, even central Bahamas, low to mid-60s. So we're talking about 16 to 19 degrees Celsius. The chill is on, and the chill is on with 20s near parts of Florida, a lot of 30s in Florida. With that, there's a falling iguana alert. This is what happens uh, in certain areas when you get an unusual chill. Iguanas, they, they don't die, but their bodies actually shut down, and it looks like they're dead. Kind of an interesting uh, phenomenon, but as the sun comes up and things warm up, they actually uh, kind of wake up, if you will, and they're okay. But if they're in trees, their body shuts down with temperatures in the uh, 30s Fahrenheit across parts of Florida in which they could actually fall out of trees. And then eventually, once they warm up, uh, their bodies become more alert and then they wake up. So that is what is actually happening in parts of Florida this morning. Uh, interesting phenomenon. All right, switching back to some of the heavier weather. Not not just the cold temps, but the rain. And this is what I was highlighting in yesterday's video. Here's Belize. You get over toward the Bay Islands of Honduras. Very heavy totals that will top three-day totals of 250 millimeters of rain or 10 inches of rain will be on the edge of that parts of Belize and especially northern Honduras. Again, please, if you don't mind, share the word about this because it is not a named system, but the flooding is going to be significant, not only here, but parts of Costa Rica and Panama, keeping a very close eye on that Caribbean side and then the Caribbean side of Nicaragua, very heavy totals that could top 200 millimeters of rain or eight inches in some spots, so I appreciate you getting the word out. This is serious flooding in the sense that we could have mudslides, uh, very dangerous rivers over the next few days, and just flat out those high totals. Here's the front that it has brought that colder weather that I showed you. We're seeing that collision of air masses, the cold versus the warm. So right in between, we're seeing that huge buildup of some rain. Again, not seeing tropical development, but look at the rain here. This is today into tomorrow, and it sticks around in the same spots. The front kind of dies out near the Turks and Caicos, north of Haiti, right through the Cayman Islands, just north of Jamaica. So of course, most of us staying on the hot side, but the rain tomorrow into Thursday, look how it builds Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, watching Belize and still parts of Nicaragua, Costa Rica and Panama on Thursday, and again on Friday, still some pockets of rain that will lead to some additional high totals and flooding. And then elsewhere through the Northern Caribbean, Puerto Rico, 
back through Hispaniola, spotty showers. Now, Cayman Islands and Jamaica, the heaviest rain uh, for the most part will be staying off toward the south and west through Central America, but at times we'll see scattered areas of rain with some downpours. So I'll be watching that, of course, in the wake of uh, Melissa as the uh, relief and recovery efforts continue in Jamaica. Jamaica, by the way, I'll be going throughout Jamaica next week, so hope to be uh, seeing you very uh, shortly. Now, we watch this area here. This is the front leaving the Atlantic region of Canada. I'll show you the strong winds in a second, but that front leaves another one kind of builds in by the time we work into Thursday. You see another system lifting up toward the north and then some heavier weather, British Columbia back toward uh, parts of the west coast of the United States with another system moving in, snow in the high terrain, but a heavy uh, flood potential uh, will be a possibility, heavy rain potential, I should say, parts of California sweeping over toward Nevada, but these fronts sweeping by and trying to dip down toward Toward the Northern Caribbean this time of year. Now on the north side of all of this, the winds today, you can see even over toward Cape Cod on the island, some of the winds gusting to about 50 miles per hour, 50 to about 70 mile per hour gusts, kind of clipping by Nova Scotia, more so uh, Newfoundland, uh, back through the Avalon Peninsula tonight into tomorrow morning, some strong winds with that area. So the weather tied together, uh, Canada all the way down through the Caribbean. And because of this front, those seas are so very elevated. The Gulf, the Caribbean, the Atlantic waters, this is tomorrow. By the time we work our way toward the end of the week, still a chop in the Western and uh, Central Caribbean, but uh, trying to get a little bit better, but still some of the high seas as we work into the Atlantic waters even later this week. So that front has moved by. So with that, the cold weather, as I mentioned, the falling iguanas as we get back toward parts of Florida, the chill, the Florida Keys, back through parts of the uh, Bahamas, especially northern and central Bahamas, in Chile as well uh, this morning and tonight, parts of Cuba. As far as the rain goes, we can get some brief downpours. Eastern Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, that could give us a quick 50 to 75 millimeters of rain. Again, the heaviest and kind of prolonged rain will be toward the uh, southwest, but we'll see some scattered areas of rain. Spotty Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Port Puerto Rico, back through the Virgin Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis, Guadalupe, Antigua, Barbuda, kind of hit or miss rain. Same thing, Dominica South through Martinique, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, northeastern Venezuela, back through Guyana, a little bit more Guyana, even northern Suriname, some, some totals over 75 millimeters of rain will be a potential, but it's this area here of high concern for those very dangerous rivers. So again, if you're in one of those typical areas that takes on some water with uh, prolonged rain events, you do wanna take some action to try to be safe best you can. I know we all have different means, but trying to seek higher ground if needed, watching Belize, Honduras, and especially that Caribbean side of Nicaragua, uh, Costa Rica, and Panama. Even today, interior sections of Guatemala will see some increased rain. So let me know how you're doing in the comments, your location, if you're getting any flooding or even not any flooding. I'll be going through those comments throughout the day. A few spotty showers, Yucatan Peninsula, but Mexico City to the north were dry as we swing back toward uh, parts of uh, New Mexico, Texas on the dry side, that chill that is around. Same thing as we work our way back toward Arizona, but as we get back toward uh, California. I mentioned that next system moving in, four inches of rain will be possible. Of course, higher terrain, that will be snow. And then we swing back toward the Atlantic region of Canada as we go over really the next 24 hours, but another system on its heels will have some spots over 100 millimeters of rain. And again, some of the strong gusty winds. So rain chance about 50% today across Jamaica. A lot of us stay dry, but some of us get a few downpours around, right? We'll be watching that carefully and tomorrow the rain chance bumps up to about 60% across Jamaica. In the next two days, some scattered areas of rain. Watching that in the Cayman Islands, we're looking at about a 60% chance especially back toward Grand Cayman. Trinidad and Tobago, the next two days, we have a 40% chance of rain. We swing to the north, Barbados, keeping an eye on some of the earthquake activity. But again, the rain chance on the low side, it stays on the low side in St. Lucia, just about a 10% chance for today. Spotty kind of passing shower possible today in Grenada, a 30% chance today, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, and a 20% chance for tomorrow. 20 to 30% chance in Martinique. We do that again in Dominica, rain chance tomorrow 
tomorrow at about 30%, a 30% chance tomorrow and Thursday as we work our way back toward Guadalupe. Antigua, Barbuda isolated the next two days, rain chance holding at 30%, a 30% chance today uh, and tomorrow. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, an isolated 30% chance the next three days and Guilla and St. Bart's. We swing back towards St. Martin, St. Ben Stacia. Not a lot of rain, passing variety. Really the same thing as we work our way back through Puerto Rico. Isolated shower, just a 20% chance over the next uh, couple of days. The U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Bahamas, of course. The bigger story, the chill southern Bahamas, a better chance of some scattered showers where that front kind of settles, sinking down to the south. Turks and Caicos with that, with that front nearby. Rain chance at about 50%. A 40% chance for today in the Dominican Republic and a 30% chance the next few days as we work our way back through Haiti. Belize, of course, the pockets of rain. Some of us are actually dry in Belize. That's why it's not a 100% chance, while others are dealing with the substantial flooding. So you kind of get some waves of some of the rain the next few days, and that will continue even into the upcoming weekend. Aruba, rain chance today about 20%. It does bump up a little bit tomorrow, and tomorrow in Curacao and Bonaire, and tomorrow night, rain chance at about 40%. Guyana, the rain chance on the high side, northern and central sections, and really extreme northern sections of Suriname, we're running at about a 50% chance of some rain. 30% chance in Cuba, favoring eastern sections of Cuba, Costa Rica, and Panama, as I mentioned. Very high totals, especially closer to the Caribbean. Same thing as we work our way back through Nicaragua. The very dangerous flooding watching over toward parts of the uh, Bay Islands, uh, back through Honduras, especially northern and eastern side for some very significant rain. And today the rain chance higher in Guatemala, not as much in El Salvador. And then it kind of levels off over the next few days. Mexico City were mainly dry. Could see a few spotty showers, especially southern sections of the Yucatan Peninsula. If you're closer to Belize, that's where the rain chance will be a little higher. 60% chance in northern Colombia, 50% chance in northern Venezuela, and in Bermuda with these fronts passing by. At times, we watch out for some of that rain that will be sweeping by. So a cold front, strong one, sweeping to the south. We have a bit of a chill in parts of the uh, northern Caribbean. Most of us on the uh, very warm side, heavy rain though, parts of Central America watching the flooding and the mudslide threat. And of course, keeping an eye on some of the increased uh, earthquake activity. Sometimes that happens. I'll be watching that very carefully behind the scenes. If anything sin uh, significant happens, of course, I will let you know right away. So please, please be safe with some of the flooding. I'll be monitoring that throughout the day, going through your comments throughout the day. Have a good Tuesday ahead.